Right, so we're all very aware just how good Erling Haaland is in real life and in FM23. He scores goals for fun. He's a cyborg. He's a robot. But what if I told you that there was a player that you could sign for about £4 million that was just as good as, almost as good as him? Well, today's video is all about that guy. I'm going to show you who he is, how you can sign him, and just how good he can turn out in FM23. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another FM23 video. And today's video is all about a striker that I've now signed in at least a few different saves. And every single time, I've just been so impressed by how good he can turn out, how good he is at the start of the game, and just how cheap he is. To me, he is the budget Haaland for this year's game, for FM23. And I just thought I wanted to showcase him in a video by showing you First of all, where you can sign him from, how how good he is at the start of the game, but also by doing a few seasons to show you how he does turn out and how maybe to get the best out of him as well. That's what we're going to do today. Before we do that, though, just a quick reminder to please subscribe to the channel because we are, as I record this, about 30 subscribers away from 30,000, which is insane, absurd, and it'd be really cool to hit that. I feel like we can do that right now if just a small percentage of you guys click that subscribe button. It's free and it makes me feel good inside. So there's my there's my plea for today's video. Also, if you do enjoy it, please do leave a like on it as well and leave me comments down below. Have you signed this guy? Let me know how he's done with you and uh, yeah, should we reveal who it is? Okay, I'm not going to tease it anymore. Here he is, the striker we're talking about in today's video. It's Dion Drainer Bellio, the Croatian striker, just 20 years old. And I've signed him immediately in this save. We're going to showcase him at Tottenham Hotspur. They're going to be the team we're going to use to go and play through three seasons, simulating the seasons, trying to get the best out of him. Just just show you how good he can turn out. And trust me, I'm going to show you. He can do pretty good stuff with a team like Spurs and plenty of other teams too, I am sure. He starts off then playing in Croatia, meaning he's very gettable. And as I mentioned earlier, he's very cheap. He starts at Osijek in the Croatian First League. And I've signed him here for Spurs for £3.9 million. For around about £4 million, you can sign him. You could maybe do some instalments, get him a little bit cheaper initially, but maybe a bit more later on, or maybe just cheaper straight up. £3.9 million though. I don't think you can really go wrong with that. And because he's at Osijek, I think you can go and buy him for a lot of different teams and be successful in bringing him in. The reputation of Osijek in Croatia is going to be low compared to most teams that you're going to be using, like those lower or mid-table Premier League teams. He could be a starter for sure in those teams. I'm going to start him at Spurs in this video and show you how many goals he can score right off the bat from the very start of the game at 20 years old. He can be very, very effective. Now, why is he effective? is the question and I think it really does come down to the profile of player that he is at 20 he's a six foot five striker left footed very Erling Haaland like right this is why I've called him the budget Haaland I'm sure loads of you have already used Belio in your saves by the way I'm not saying that this is like a completely hidden player it's just like a message I wanted to showcase him because I think he can be so good maybe show you just how good he can be I've asked a few people to let me know how he's done in their saves as well and he's been very very good but if you just have a look at his profile he's got the height the jumping reach of 15 which is good he's six foot five obviously that is useful he's got decent pace as well at 12 and 11 hopefully if this does improve he's going to be even more useful i've put him on about 66k a week by the way which is that was just to make sure that i signed him at the start of the game if you're trying to sign him you will have some competition i think arsenal i think liverpool were looking at him newcastle as well were a team looking at him in the start of this save dortmund as well wanted him so you will have some competition so just bear that in mind but with this this stature these physicals he's got really good mentals 15 flair 13 teamwork 14 determination is useful 14 anticipation composure of 12 is not too bad at all then he's got these 15 finishing for me here which is that's very good that's a very high high finishing attribute to begin with at 20 very strong left foot reasonable right foot is useful too can play a range of different roles i'm going to try out what well, I'm hopefully going to find out what his best role is. But naturally, deep line forward because of his stature probably. But advanced forward, I think, is what I'm going to use him in. I've set him up to begin with in this 4 triple 2 as an advanced forward. I'm just going to lock him in the team. Let the, the assistant manager pick the rest of the team. I'm going to go and do a bit of a simulation for the first season to see how he does. But... It's going to do really well because he's so effective. I've signed him so many times. Please do let me know if you've signed him in your save as well. Leave me those comments down below. But should we go one season into the save and find out how he does? 
I think we should. Let's see. Uh, I'll see you in about a year's time. And here he is then. Now 21 years old after one season in the Premier League playing for Spurs. He's made a little bit of development so far. You will notice his potential is changing slightly depending on maybe on who the coach is that is saying this. But he starts off around about two stars as a Premier League player in this Spurs team. Obviously, that is going to change depending on your teams or your squads. But the potential is maybe something you're looking at. He does have scope to improve. He will develop and become better. Not much massive changes, I'd say, from the first season. But playing him in this system here as the, uh, the left-hand side striker in this, you can see he scored himself 27 goals in 52 appearances i let the rest of the team get picked by the assistant just to see how he would do they've loan listed him as well but 27 goals in season number one the average rating or the last five games they're not great but the average rating of 7.05 is decent playing alongside harry kane for the most part harry kane by the way did score a load of goals alongside him 29 i guess a load of goals quite similar actually 29 for kane 27 for Bellio. I don't think that's terrible, is it? He probably isn't quite matching Haaland at this stage, but what I'm hoping is maybe even if we get one season where he outscores Haaland, that'll be decent, wouldn't it? But I think you can see a bit of development here. In terms of the, uh, the stats then, let's have a look at them. 17 league goals in the Premier League. Let's see where that compares to Haaland. I don't think it would have beaten him here. Six assists, three player of the matches, 7.04. He got six goals in the Cups, four in Europe as well. Champions League, I think, there. So scoring at the top level there. Let's just have a look at that Premier League table scoring system. Spurs finished seventh, but again, I was just on holiday for the entire season. Okay, yeah, so not quite Haaland levels um, where... He got 47, which is just a joke, isn't it? He is ridiculous. But up there, look, with, with you know, joint seventh. He got the same amount of goals as Mo Salah for his first season at 20 years old. I don't think that's terrible. And I've got high hopes that he can improve on this. And I hope we're going to see him improve on this by simulating another season. I'll see you then after season two. All right, now he's 22 years old. And straight away, before we even click on his profile here... He's got himself 34 goals. He is the top goal scorer for Spurs this season, outscoring Harry Kane. I know we're locking him into the position here, but it's just going to show you that if you did sign him and did play him in every game, just what he can achieve, he can definitely score goals. Now, have a look at this profile now. The finishing is up to 16. We've got some nice green attributes here. Off the ball to 16. His acceleration's gone up. The pace has gone up as well. He's turning into a bit of a worldly striker here, I'm thinking. Not a lot in terms of potential. If you look at his stars, those stars can vary though. I think he will still improve. He's 22 here. Scoring a load of goals then. Let's have a look at that goal scoring stats 22 league goals this time will it be more than Haaland let's find out but an average rating again over a seven 38 appearances 34 goals all comps eight in seven in Europe I think that might have been in the Europa League yeah conference league so maybe slightly lesser opposition but still scoring lots of goals doing very well where did he rank in the Premier League I mean he's getting closer Haaland got 34, but remember Haaland's older. Haaland is 23 at this stage. He's a year older, so maybe he's a year behind. May I still hope he's going to beat him. 22 goals, though, from Belio, just behind Nunez. Third top goal scorer in the Premier League for a team that finished fifth as well. So this is not a team that is, you know, dominating the league or anything. I've not done anything really special with the tactics. I changed to a 4-2-3-1 for this one, and he played as the main striker. So that's probably why he's outscored Harry Kane. How many goals did Kane get? probably off the bench 28 so Kane is still very good but still a decent total 34 goals he's scoring more we're gonna go another year and see can we beat Harry Kane that's the aim right okay this this right here is why I wanted to do this video I have I've I, he's the best striker in the world in, in the third season by just sticking him in the team I've managed to get him to score 56 goals in a season 56 goals in a season, all competitions, he is now probably the best striker in the world, at least in terms of form. I don't think Haaland would have scored more than him in this season. There's his profile. You can see he has developed. He is getting better, even though it says his potential is basically as far as it's going to be now. But at 23, I still think these will improve a little bit. He's now got that 16 anticipation. I think that's new, isn't it? His first touch up to 15 as well. I think that might have improved as well. This is a serious, serious striker, as evidenced by the fact that, have a look at these career stats, he's got 36 league goals in 37 games. He's got 56 goals in 55 games in all competitions. All I've done is I've stuck him up front in a 4-2-3-1, a very simple 4-2-3-1 as well, by the way, and he is just scoring 
Goal after goal after goal for four million pounds. Seriously, this is why I had to make this video. I know a lot of you would have known about him already, but just to showcase what you can achieve with Belio, if you just play him regularly, I know that he's in the in the team every single game, and it's not quite as organic as maybe it, it you know as, as you might expect. But it just goes to show if you are using him, you can get more out of him than you might expect when you just holiday and simulate to a, a later point in a game. Fifty six goals this year, and not only that, but he can carry a team a little bit. He can create a better team because they finished second in the league. That is an improvement. And we've managed to do it. We've achieved our goal. Belio got 36. Haaland, a poultry 33. Rubbish. I think Belio greater than Haaland is the only thing we can, we can say from here, right? 36 for Belio. 33 for Haaland. And not only this, but he's carried this Spurs team on his back to a Champions League win. Spurs won the Champions League this year. 3-2 in the final. Of course he scored in the final as well in the 51st minute. I mean, let's have a look at his goal, right? They beat Liverpool in the Champions League final. This, I think, it just sums it up. It just really does show you what you can achieve with Belio. If you do, just let him develop and play him through games for £4 million. You can't go wrong with it, can you? Let's have a look at this goal that he scored in the Champions League final. Emerson Royale down the right-hand side. Yasser Espria, another brilliant young player on FM, by the way. Manages to get the cross in. There's Belio leaping like a salmon. I've done an impression of a header there as he as he heads it in. That is, I mean, that is what he's like in the match engine. Great header from him. They win the Champions League. This guy... I mean, look at the goals that he's scoring. If I scroll down the results there, they won 8-1 there and he scored one, two, three, four goals in a game. Outrageous. He scored a hat trick, no, two in that game there. I mean, there's there's a few hat tricks as you go through. There's a 6-1 win there where he scored twice. If they won, he usually scored. He is excellent. This is why I made this video. I could go further, couldn't I? But I don't know if he's going to beat this. This, I think, is the peak of his powers. Go and sign him for £4 million. You're not going to regret it, are you? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this as a video today. Do you want to see other player profile type videos where we look at this? It's a little bit different to what we usually do. But please do let me know. Maybe if you have suggestions of players that you think I should do a video like this to showcase certain players. Maybe you like it as an idea for different players to go and sign in your saves. Let me know if that if that is an idea that you'd like to see. Let me know in those comments down below. And subscribe to the channel. We're very close to 30k. That'd be cool if we hit it. Like the video if you did enjoy it too. And if you want to go and support over on the Patreon, that'd be really nice as well. You'll get your name in the credits at the end of the video. As you're about to see here. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye. Belio for Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or, yo. Just... Tom's finished it there. Just...